In today's video, we're going to try freeze drying some more exotic fruits to see what sort of tastes and textures we get. Guys, big news before we get started today, Grant's book, 52 Random Weekend Projects, is now available. If you're one of the people that pre-ordered and submitted your receipt for the signed copy, keep an eye out. We're going to be sending you a separate package with a signed book plate insert you can put into your book. We are very excited that this is finally live. If you haven't ordered one yet, head down to the description and click the link to order yours today. Guys, we have some fruit in the studio today. We've freeze dried quite a few things and in doing so, we've had some requests for freeze drying other things. And so we've got some of those today and just some slightly exotic, exotic of course, to is a us. relative term. We are here in Utah where things are exotic. We also have lemons, which are not exotic even in Utah, but I just wanted to try something with the lemons while we're freeze drying other fruit. But like to give you an idea, these are kumquats. Kumquats. This is not exotic. This isn't necessarily tropical. These were grown in my hometown, Roseville, California. Like you could just find these. But they don't grow here. Yeah, so they're exotic to high mountain desert. Here's the basic idea. Once again, we're firing up the freeze dryer to see what happens when we put fruit in it. But this time we're using some of your ideas and some more exotic fruits to to see what results we get. Uh, we've got the lychee, like you were popping open there. Yep. Uh, we have a cup of pomegranate seeds. We figured this was easier than suffering to get the pomegranate seeds out ourselves. We have dragon fruit, both pre-sliced up and still in the peel. Still in the dragon. Star fruit, which is pretty delicious, mixed with other stuff in my experience. I actually very much like star fruit. I've heard people say that it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but if you get a really good one, I love them. And then this is passion fruit, and on the inside there should be seeds, kind of similar to the pomegranate seeds, more pulp in there as well. So we'll cut those open, take the seeds out, and we're gonna try freeze drying all of this. And I'm really interested to see how textures change. Mm -hmm. The dragon fruit, for instance, is supposed to have these the very smooth, uniform, soft texture mm -hmm. with a lot of water in it. And so when we freeze dry it, what's that gonna turn into? I think instead of pomegranate seeds, we're just gonna have seeds. There's not gonna be any Palm I think there might it. be like a little fluff of juice around if each seed. If we're lucky, yeah. So I don't eat pomegranate meat. seeds much. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to actually eat the seed? Yeah, so this is a cup that you would just be able to... Um, Fill out it with a spoon? Basically, or you mix it in with a fruit salad is what I really like to do. Um, I would say that these aren't great, but again, it's here in Utah. When you peel one fresh, the easiest way to do it, honestly, is you can break them open. And if you put them in warm water and you just submerge it, it's not actually difficult to peel a pomegranate. They pop right out. And if they're underwater, then they don't hit you with that spray that dyes your clothes. I don't believe I have ever in my life actually had kumquat. It's more bitter than I care for. And I'm used to California mandarins. A lot to of me, people here- To me, that tastes like an exact mix between an orange and a lemon. There you go, yep. That's how thick that skin is. So we'll try and extract is. these and then mm -hmm. just freeze dry those parts. Mm -hmm. All right, with the lemons, my goal, I wanted to cut them into slices and then just coat both sides in sugar and then freeze dry it to see if we get anything kind of like candied lemon. I hope so. That'd be neat. That um, sounds actually really good. I'm not a huge fan of, this sounds odd, but fresh lemon flavor, but lemon candies like lemon drops, I'm with Dumbledore on that, they're fantastic. There's a picture that goes around on Tumblr and it's, it's, uh, it's, here's a picture of a peeled lemon, and that's basically the entire post, and underneath it, somebody's written like, I feel uncomfortable, and somebody else has written, I feel like I shouldn't be looking at this. I agree, so I'm doing it. All right, passion fruit. Tough skin on the outside. I, what? That's no. the inside of passion fruit. Who opened one of these one day and was like, I'm gonna eat that? Mm, very tart. Passion fruit like lemons, for example, has a very strong flavor and is very tart, very, very little sweetness to it, at least any of the varieties that I've tried. So it is something you usually add sugar to. What I was taught about how to choose a passion fruit at the store, it was in Brazil. And in Brazil, they have a different variety of passion fruit, which is yellow on the outside, not the purple ones. They're also a little bit larger. You actually kind of want to look for the ones that seem like they're going bad and <laughs> look a little bit wrinkled and almost rotten on the outside, and you should be able to shake it and hear everything rattling around a little bit. And that means you'll be able to get the seeds out more easily. Okay. And some of these sort of popped as I was trying to get them out. So that's what you're trying to avoid, generally speaking. But that's okay. We've still got pulp. We've still got seeds. We've got some juice. We're just going to take it and spread it like this. Now we're going to take all of these. We're going to put them on the tray or trays. Then we're going to freeze them in our regular freezer for a couple of hours. And then we'll throw it all in the freeze dryer.
the texture of the dragon fruit is so like soft and smooth. It's like a soft pear, but with seeds thrown in to add some crunch to it. So I believe this and this are different varieties of the same fruit, which is pretty interesting given the color difference. Just as smooth, smaller crunches from smaller seeds, even less flavor. Yep. It's like a pop-up fruit. Kingdom Hearts. It's a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Like I like the taste. I like it better mixed with other things. I like it. It's just very crisp and clean. It is. It's a very light flavor, and the texture is similar to a cucumber. Oh yeah, kind of. We've got all of our fruit set out on the tray. Callie has successfully peeled an entire lemon for some reason. Uh, so now what we need to do is take all of these trays, we're gonna put them in the regular freezer for just a couple of hours, then we'll throw them in the freeze dryer to go through the whole freeze drying process. And uh, I guess we're just gonna freeze dry half a lemon all at once. Mmm, that's strong. Guys, it's been a couple weeks. <laughs> we ended up leaving it in the freezer overnight, and then the next day we were busy. So they stayed, stayed frozen busy. for like a week, and then we freeze dried them. Um, so they're still the same. They're still, we just pulled them out. They're crunchy and look neat. Neat is about the best way to explain this. The star fruit is beautiful. This looks like a pile of like- Dead flies. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say dead bugs. It really doesn't look like food, but I still wanna try it because mm. I like passion fruit a lot. Without any sugar, it's very tart. Yep. So this might be very sour. That's pretty sour, but not like horribly overpowering. Really good flavor still. Now I'm gonna chew the seeds. Good luck with that. Oh. Because that's where the sweetness is, right? I think no, you're just no? more flavor. Okay. It's good. Flavor's great. It's got crunch to it. My preference is still to make it into a juice or a mousse or something like that. But I enjoy that. Okay. Really good flavor. Okay. It's just crunchy and flaky. Pomegranates. Much chewier. It has like an outside coating that's very similar to popcorn. Mm -hmm. And then there's a harder seed inside. Crunchy. The outside is popcorny, like Nate was yeah, saying. Yeah, I could see this being like a bagged snack or something Absolutely. that you take on. Absolutely. Yeah, dried fruit has a comeback right now. People are, are buying that in mass and it's fantastic. I really like this actually. So now we have the star fruit. Mm -hmm. I do not know what happened here because we had either. three slices of star fruit. These two are the same, very light, just yeah. sound crispy, crunchy. They weren't hardly connected to the tray at all. And then this one, which just exploded in we don't, juice foam. We don't think we sugared any of the star fruit, so that's the odd Maybe part. I did sugar one. Maybe just one. You know, that's that does, sugar. That does sound a little familiar. That's sugar. You sugared one. That's what happened. All right, that explains it. Okay, I'm gonna try the non-sugared one. Yeah, that's basically pure sugar. Has a slight star fruit flavor. Oh my happy day. If you've ever had banana chips or apple chips, this is like it's a so third light. Of that. Yeah, like you chew it and it's just like kind of disappears all at once. I'm gonna try the sugared one. Much crunchier. The yep, sugar here. crystallizes and has some good resistance to it. It's just sugarier. If you like that, then it's better. If you don't, then it's just gonna be like, oh, that's too much sugar. We have our whole kumquat. Well, whole minus the peel. Mm -hmm. It's like we peeled a kumquat. <laughs> quartered kumquat and our halved kumquat. Oh, we'll that actually dried, I popped down. it. Mmm. <laughs> Oh wow, that's tart. That is very tart. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> kind of tastes like an orange and a lemon together with all the tartness of a lemon. It makes your, okay, you know when you eat something so rich or so sour that your cheeks like tight, everything tightens? My, mm -hmm. my jaw locked. I'm gonna keep doing that. Ooh. That is fun. All right, the lychee, very foam-like. This is kind of popcorn-y feeling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Mmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm More of these. Rice puffs cereal, like smacks. That's that's the texture. Absolutely. Pretty much exactly like that. Pops. Yeah. Or corn pop. Mm hmm Very similar texture to but that. But fruity. Mm hmm Fruity corn pops. That is so fun. That's interesting. I like that. 
All right, lemon. Now, I sugared all of the lemons yeah. because I think we've done- Except for this one. I did not sugar the half lemon, which did not entirely dry out. We're not surprised by this, guys. That's more tower, tower, more, I can't, a lot of words. I thought that the sugar would soak into it. It all bubbled out. It was really good. So none of the sugar <laughs> got into the lemon, or at least not that I could tell. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to see if any of the lemon got into the sugar. So this is all the stuff I just scraped okay. off. So we'll see if it's at least lemon flavored sugar. Yeah, actually it is. Okay. Um, very, very sugary. Like that felt like a mouthful of sugar with like a little bit of lemon. Tell me how that goes. I'm gonna try this. Okay, go for it. Oh, geez. That actually kind of felt like it was burning for a second. That like was a tingly sour. <laughs> I've never experienced it. It actually is affecting me the sour less than biting it into the lemon. It hurts my teeth. <laughs> but like, like I actually just felt that. Yeah, I think it's just so concentrated of acid. Is, is yours doing the same thing? <laughs> it's worse. Like it, like physically. Yes. Non, uh, not not taste. No, it it hurt my teeth. Like, don't bite into it. Yeah. It, it hurt. Like I, I, it's like licking a battery. It's like licking a nine volt battery, which is why we're not stopping. <laughs> oh wow! All right, dragon fruit. This had so little flavor before. I like it though. The texture is so much fun. To me, the flavor of that now is just kind of like planty. Yeah. Plant. It just tastes like rind or something. It's not the part of the plant you want to enjoy. All right, this the other thing. the other dragon fruit, which yes. this was like a sort of translucent white before, and now it's just gone to a straight opaque white. It feels like meringue cookie. Very powdery. Like before, slightly mm -hmm. more flavor than our other dragon fruit. Delicious. It's kind of fun. Like a soft marshmallow. The texture on that's really interesting because like it is kind of like the Lucky Charms marshmallows, mm -hmm. but then there's the seeds in there which just add a little bit of crunch in the middle of it. Guys, we keep doing these freeze drying videos because you keep asking to see them. Is there anything else that you think would be really fun for us to try in the freeze dryer? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.